okay here we are going to see what do you mean by weight attribute how weight works what are different different uses of the weight where you are going to use the weight attribute right it is actually very simple likewise earlier let me create another XML only I'm not creating activity I'm just creating the XML you can say weight underscore layout right and say okay yes and over here you can see this thing linear layout is there now this is the linear layout right we have we have this as the linear layout what I want to do is that I want to allocate this much space to one view and I want to allocate this much space to one view so into this much I would be having any image like this and here I would be having some text like this so I want to create view in this fashion means what are the different different scenarios let me show you if this is your linear layout this much is your linear layout and you are saying you want to allocate this much width to one view and this much width to another view right so in this case linear layout would be having orientation as what you can say horizontal right linear layout is having orientation as the horizontal and this much portion is for one view and this much is for another view most of the time you you would need that thing I'll show you if you can see the setting list right if you can see the settings list can you see this much is for one view and another if is for this view that is very important to understand right okay now in this case you are looking for what you can say width to be calculated automatically because orientation of this linear layout is the horizontal I am saying orientation of this linear layout is the horizontal right orientation of this layout is horizontal width would be calculated automatically that's why width will become zero in this case so instead of width we are going to provide weight I'll show you that thing see so this is outer linear layout you can use that now here I can say weight how much weight total weight can say one so if you can see if this total if this total right if this total is one if this total is one right this much if this much is one you can say this much would be point three and this much would become what point seven very logical if this is a point three this would become point seven out of one right same thing you are doing you are saying that I have full this much and for your understanding I'll make width of this right I'll make width of this as say 100 dp constant and I'll give some background background you can say at not at hash whatever some gray color we can have hash or we have at Android color <coughs> at Android color and dark gray I can say this thing right don't worry about this thing what exactly I'm doing you'll get to know this thing at the time of what you can say at the time of or if you don't want to that let me get directly this gray color and put it over here so you'll get to know what exactly this is right so this much is the linear layout of this width right now into this right into this I would be having one text view see text view here width 
would be 0 dp because you are going to calculate that right you are going to calculate that from you are going to calculate that from the weight attribute see weight and here you can say point 3 dp width is 0 dp and weight is 3 dp now what's happening weight sorry instead of vertical it need to be horizontal right so here is somewhere text we can you see this much box I can assign some background over here see text or say color background color and white f f f f f f can you see this much is your text view this much is nothing but what your text view right now I can have another text view over here see text view or instead of giving this background to this I'll keep that background as white one and I'll keep this background as gray one so you can differentiate that right and total linear layout I can have some padding see padding from all the side all four side I can say 16 dp would be the padding something like this 16 dp would be the padding okay now we would be having one text view see again this width would be the 0 dp width is going to be calculated automatically and say weight here 0.3 is there 0.7 would be the weight and height see total height of this linear layout is 100 dp what I am saying total height of this linear layout is what 100 dp so if you say match parent that is not going to go beyond the 100 dp right that's logical because parent is having 100 dp if you say match parent inside the child to the child that will not go beyond the 100 dp okay now again I'm, I would be having same background over here this thing like this and for the differentiation I will give a little margin or yes margin from the left I can say 5 dp can you differentiate it now so you created one weighted layout over here you created one weighted layout over here so presently I am saying width is 0 because your orientation is horizontal similarly you can divide it in vertical manner also right if you say consider this thing as vertical this much would be the 0.3 right in that case height would be 0 dp right height would be what 0 dp because height is going to be calculated automatically you can try this so instead of this horizontal you can try with the height is that fine okay so this is nothing but about the weight this is how you can have the weight right very simple and very nice idea to implement so this is very efficient while you are going to cre create what you can say your layouts right okay so that's about this tutorial so in this in next tutorial right I am going to create one layout mixed or nested layout so there would be one layout and into that layout there would be relative layout linear layout again relative layout kind of mixture of the layouts I am going to create right so keep watching and subscribe us